December 26, uh, 2004, um, uh, there was a tsunami uh, that killed nearly a quarter of a million people. And the New York Times Magazine asked me to tell the story of that event uh, uh, through the eyes of survivors. For the Earth, it was just a twinge. On December 26, 2004, one part of the planet's undersea crust made an abrupt shift beneath another along a 75-mile seam near the island of Sumatra. For the Earth, where land masses are in constant motion across geological time, the event was of no great moment. But for people, who mark the calendar in months and years rather than eons, a monumental catastrophe had begun. Not only the largest earthquake in 40 years, but also the displacement of billions of tons of water, a tsunami. I look to the east, I see people running toward me, shrieking. writing gets down to the detail of what it was like for these people. Uh, the language that he used uh, made it so much easier to, to get into their world and to be able to tell the, help tell the story with the music. hit by the water were like caught up in a blender. So there were tens of thousands of people uh, being carried for a mile or a mile and a half by the water. They were twisting and, and tumbling. Their clothes were ripped off. And, in, 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 and beside them were, were all this debris. There were homes, cars, trees. And as they were being thrown through the water, uh, they were all being hit with um, concrete, being cut with glass and with wire. Um, and, uh, and they didn't know what, what was happening. Some thought it was the end of the world. When I started writing, the water is warm. I knew I wanted this voluptuous, sort of almost sensual kind of sound that would envelope us and make us feel like we had come home. same water that certainly is carrying the, the shards of glass and the, the, the 
car doors that are floating by and, and everything else, but that water um, gives us life. My arms are useless. Objects strike me. I feel cut, poked, and punched. Something smacks my left eye. Then why stop? There is a homemade sign hanging by a rope from a broken pillar. The sign was made by others, but in it I find relief for my impossible sorrow. Much of the land itself had been swallowed up and the coastline had been reshaped. Familiar landmarks were gone, replaced by bizarre new ones. A half million people were homeless. It was the same for every survivor. Irreplaceable losses to their families and cobbled together hearts. And yet a normalcy of sorts finally settled in. People made do. People carried on. People bowed to the unknowable purposes of Allah. <laughs>